Hello, so this is um, 10 productivity tips uh, to help you reach, I think it's supposed to reach, reach your goal. I can't really quite, yeah, reach your goals. It's a Brian Tracy video, so hope you enjoy. <laughs> Hello, I'm Brian Tracy, and today I want to talk to you about my favorite subject in the whole world, is how you can increase your productivity and reach your goals faster than ever before. Now, every one of us is gifted with the same 24 hours every day. It's how you use those hours, though, that makes all the difference. If you're like many people, boosting your productivity may be all that it takes for you to reach new heights. What I have found is that successful people are all described or to other people as being very productive. So if you're looking for a few simple ways to be more productive and efficient with your time, check out these 10 productivity boosting tips. And as you listen, think of what action you're going to take immediately to apply one or more of these tips and write it down, write it down, write it down. So the first tip to boost your productivity is to utilize the touch it once rule. The touch it once rule dictates that you should complete a task or project from start to finish the first time that you touch it, rather than starting on a task and leaving it to finish at a later time. I've learned about this a lot when I was talking about and researching more on um, multitasking and how multitasking really is a double-edged um, sword. So I think this one I need to work on, but it's interesting. Um, anyway. If you're able to commit to following this rule, it will eliminate most opportunities for procrastination right out of the gate. Now, the next way to increase your productivity is to always write down your plan. I'm passionate about write it down, write it down. Whether you keep a to-do list in a notebook, on a calendar, uh, on an app for your phone, writing down the tasks that you need to complete is an excellent way to keep yourself organized as well as an excellent way to become more productive as well. There's something about writing down a list of tasks that makes you more motivated to complete them and gives you greater focus and scratch off the list one by one. Um, Brian Tracy actually usually writes a lot of stuff about writing it down, write it down, write it down. Um, personally, I always end up, like most people, writing everything down. The beginning of the year sometimes you know um throughout the year i'll write it down and then it just kind of gets put to the side but anyway but it can be it's been shown that writing stuff down like your goals and stuff it can be very helpful in actually achieving them and staying more productive and each time you scratch off a task you feel great about yourself and you're eager to start with a new task when a to-do list is in your head, it's little more than something to stress over. But when your to-do list is written down, it becomes a plan of action. Productivity tip number three is to set small goals. Formal goal setting is one of the most powerful methods for helping a person achieve their long-term goals. However, goal setting can be used to help you reach short-term goals and boost your day-to-day -day productivity as well. By breaking a large project into many pieces and setting small goals, you can take advantage of the motivation boosting benefits of goal setting and use them to substantially increase your productivity. What this means is each time you start and complete a task, you get a rush of endorphin, which gives you more energy and creativity and motivates you into the next task. So everything in life depends upon task completion. So if you have a lot of small tasks, then, and you complete these tasks, they motivate you and give you a feeling of personal power and energy. The fourth productivity tip is to plan ahead. Before you end each workday, plan ahead by writing down your to-do list for the next day. This should be the last thing that you do at the end of a workday. Planning out the next day's work ahead of time in this manner 
allows you to prepare your mind ahead of time for the next day's work and also lets you dive right into your to-do list the moment the workday starts. The next tip is to avoid overcommitting. Nothing kills your productivity quite as like biting off way more than you can chew. So far from this list, I think the thing I would need to work on like the most would be the avoiding overcommitting. I tend to overcommit and then have to try to come up with a plan on how to get everything I need done without overcommitting. And the aftermath is just very stressful. So I don't recommend it. And uh, I take Brian Tracy's advice here. Overcommitting to more work than you're actually able to complete leads only to stress and worry and anxiety, which can make it difficult to complete any work at all. So while you don't want to sell yourself short on the amount of work that you can complete in a given time, you also want to avoid taking on more than you can handle. It's a fine balance, but an important one to find if you want to be at your most productive. If you really want to be more efficient when reaching your goals, you need to stop trying to multitask. While multitasking may seem like an easy way to boost your productivity, multitasking tends to end up producing the opposite results. Anytime you split your attention between multiple tasks, both your productivity and the quality of your work are going to drop like a stone. Instead of multitasking, give one task your full attention until it is completed before moving on to the next. Here's my discovery. There is no such thing as multitasking. There is only task shifting. That means you change your attention like a gun pointed in a different direction and you do something else and then you have to come back and then you have to find out where you were and start over on that task. And then when you shift, you shift, but you don't do more than one thing at a time. Human beings can only focus on one thing at a time one task at a time. So start and work on that one task until it's complete. It is the great secret of success. My seventh tip for increased productivity is to start with your hardest task first. If you're able to complete your most difficult task right out of the gate, you are then able to continue your day knowing that the worst is behind you rather than spending the day stressing about a task that you are dreading. We call this eating your frog. Given that stress and worry are the enemies of productivity, tackling the toughest task on your to-do list, first thing, is an effective way to become more productive. As my friend Robert Allen said, do the worst first, and then move on to your other tasks. An often overlooked strategy that can really increase your daily efficiency is to determine when you are most productive. Most people are at their most productive in the early morning hours. Get up, get going. And one of the secrets of self-made millionaires is to get up and get going by 6 a.m., maybe even earlier. And get up, do your exercises, and then launch into your worst, into your, worst your most difficult task. Others, uh, however, those who are not the, at their best during the morning, uh, may do their best work late at night. There are many people who start work at midnight and work all night, and then they sleep in the first half of the day. Determine when you personally are at your most productive and use those hours to their full advantage. If you really want to increase productivity, you need to make sure that you minimize interruptions as much as possible. Today, we live in a world that offers up one interruption and distraction after the other. If you want to be as productive as possible, it's essential to eliminate as many of these interruptions that you possibly can. Close yourself off in a room, and if you're able, leave your phone in another room. Just turn it off. Take whatever steps you can to close yourself off from the outside world so that all that is left is you and the work that needs to be completed. Many large companies in large cities actually have an apartment very close to the office with offices that are all set up so that a person who has to complete a task can go to that apartment, 
and there's no telephones and no interruptions, and they can work single-mindedly without anybody bothering them. You have to do the same thing for yourself. You have to close your door. Here's one of the simplest techniques. Get one of those do not disturb signs from the next hotel that you stay in and put it on your door. When you start work, put it on the outside of the door, close the door, do not disturb. And it's quite astonishing. I've taught this to many of my staff members and they could not believe how much more they got done by just having people stop interrupting. If you are in a normal office, you will be interrupted four or five times per hour, unless you put a stop to it. Last but not least, set time limits for yourself. Few things are more motivating than deadlines, and you can take advantage of this by setting realistic, self-imposed time limits on the tasks you need to complete. If you're able to treat these time limits with all of the seriousness that you would treat an official deadline, then your productivity is sure to benefit. Now, please tell me in the comments below the one action that you're going to take immediately to improve your productivity based on what we've just talked about. If you enjoyed this video and you feel it was valuable in teaching you about increasing productivity, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift. Thanks again for watching.